Here we've got some GCSE biology practice questions about communicable diseases to help put your knowledge into practice. Okay, the first question. Pathogens move from one organism to another by transmission. Name four ways that pathogens can be transmitted. So if we underline the keywords, we know we need to name four ways and it's for four marks. So this is quite a simple listing question and they want ways that pathogens can be transmitted. OK, so you can have any four of these five modes of transmission here. So direct contact, air, water, unhygienic food preparation or vector. You'd only need to list four of those to have four marks. Question two, give an example of one disease, one disease that is spread by a vector for one mark. Move to the answer. You could have malaria or you could also have bovine TB. Both of those are spread by a vector, which is an animal that spreads a disease without contracting the disease itself. And finally, question two, part B. For the disease that you chose, explain, that's our keyword there, explain, how the disease is transmitted, its symptoms, and how it can be prevented or cured for four marks. So for four marks, we need to have an answer with about four points and some keywords. So I've done a worked answer here and I've chosen malaria. So malaria is transmitted by mosquitoes acting as vectors. The mosquito bites an infected person, carries away the protist plasmodium and infects the next person it bites with that plasmodium protist. So that's explaining how the disease is transmitted. Symptoms are fever, sweats, chills, vomiting and diarrhoea. So that's the symptoms. And then how it can be prevented or cured. So malaria can be prevented by sleeping under mosquito nets or wearing insect repellent and taking anti-malarial drugs, which may also help reduce infection. You can find more questions to put into practice your knowledge of communicable disease um, as part of the MyTutor online school. Good luck.